Tonight, an act of kindness a Billings Heights man is reminded of every time he leaves his house. When Billings firefighters respond to a call, they're already going above and beyond the call of duty. But this story involves a firefighter who simply couldn't walk away when the call was over. I take you to Windsor Circle in the Heights to explain. Every step Roger Labrie takes is careful. Um, I'm used to falling. His steps are gradual. I used to get along really well until I got older. Deliberate measures. And now that I'm older, it's a lot harder for me to get around. Roger was born with cerebral palsy and has lived in his Billings Heights home for 16 years. But during a recent cold snap, when the snow turned to ice. I didn't have the grip on her, you know, I just had my hand on top of her. And Roger's careful and calculated steps failed him. And that's how I felt. His fiance Rachel, without the strength to pull him up, called for help. Yeah, we better do what we got to do to get him up, you know, so he's safe. Turns out no matter how cautious Roger was with his steps, they were no match for that deteriorating ramp. Yeah, I was leaning on one side, on the left side, and it was, it almost looked like it was going to fall to me. And the recent snowfall made it worse. It was really steep and icy. After Roger was checked out and in good shape, Billings firefighter Shane Perry just couldn't help but think about how it was only a matter of time before he was likely to slip again on the ramp. You know, something needs to be done about this because Roger was falling. Um, he's, that wasn't the first time he had fallen, I guess. Back he went to Roger's house to deliver the news. What, what were just your reactions when he came back and he said, we'd like to rebuild this for you? Pretty excited. In a couple of days, Shane and another friend rebuilt that old ramp into this. Doing so with the help from the Billings Firefighters Benevolent Fund. Uh, the Benevolent Fund was started about 20 years ago. When we first started, we started giving to people that uh, had house fires. And we gave them some money so that they could go get a hotel room and some toothbrushes and some change of clothes. Because the guys were leaving these fires at the middle of the night. And, and these people had nowhere to go. And even though Roger's steps are still careful, perhaps now they're a bit more confident. My son Leo was saying to me, well, you go up the ramp a lot faster. And, uh, and I said, yeah, it's a lot easier. Giving both his son Leo and fiance Rachel some relief thinking about the next time Roger uses the ramp. No, I don't have to worry anymore, so that's nice. Roger wasn't seriously injured when he fell in that snow and icy ramp, but he also says they tried to find an organization that could help pay to help fix the ramp, and they never could until, of course, the Benevolent Fund came to the rescue.